In this video, I'm going to show you how you can set up a sale countdown for your Shopify store. And if what you learned in this video was of any value, please leave us a super thanks and thank you very much for supporting our channel. Let's start with the tutorial. The first thing we need to do is to go to our Shopify dashboard and on the left panel, we're going to click where it says apps and then we're going to click where it says customize your store. This is going to take us to the Shopify app store. So you can type countdown and it should appear here within the results. The one we're going to choose is this one called sales pop master countdown by auto Keating, Ketting, however it's pronounced. I'm going to leave the link in the description in case it doesn't show here in the search results. So I'm going to click on this one and then before you install it, I encourage you to scroll down and look at their pricing structure. As you can see, it is free and it has certain limitations. So we can click here where it says add app and we're going to have this prompt from Shopify asking you to review the information that this app is going to be able to obtain or read from your store. So for me, it's fine. I'm going to click install app. We're going to be taken to their dashboard and on the left, we're going to search for countdown. So I'm going to click in here and you're going to have some information here, but I'm going to guide you through it. On the right, you have some sort of a preview of what it looks like. That's what it would look like if you just added it right now. But we're going to create a campaign and we're going to do some customizing for it. So I'm going to click add campaign. The campaign name can be whatever you want to. That's like for internal use. Um, since what I have on, on my store is like a notebook, I'm just going to click on back to school campaign. You can totally name this however you want. That doesn't affect the countdown. So what will affect the countdown is this thing right here. Um, that will We'll customize that message that it says at the top of the countdown. You can change it to something else. I'm going to leave it like that. The target, you can either have it show on all of your products or you can select the specific products where you want it to show. So you can choose this one and then click search products and it will give you a list. I'm just going to leave it on show on all products. The start date, basically when the countdown is going to start counting from. Right now I have it starting from today, 11.30 a.m. and it's going to last two days, which is 48 hours. If you want it for longer, then you can just customize that here for and the amount of days if you just want it to be another four hours or, you know, a few minutes. After the countdown ends, you can just click on repeat the duration. So it just does it again, basically. And the design, you can do some customizations to it. So you have the content, which you will be able to change the labels of days. For example, as you can see, it says days. Um, days, I'm just going to add a bunch of S's so you can see where that's being changed. So you can change the um, the format for these if that's of interest to you. You can change the position. This will be based on your add to cart button. So like if your add to cart button is like um, this size, then you will have the countdown on the left, on the center or on the right. So then you can just do basic customizations. You can change the font as you can see right here and that changes. Also the size of it. I'm not making it pretty. I'm literally just playing around with it. Um, you can change the colors of all of those things. That's the button. You can change the color, the message, the numbers, the days, everything. You can even apply a certain theme. Like for example, these will look like fancier than the others. So you can do that one as well, like a card flipping up and down. And yeah, I'm just going to save this one right here. Now, by default, it will show up underneath your add to cart button, but you can also select a different position. Let me just go ahead and show you. So this is my product page. And as you can see, it shows up underneath the add to cart buttons. We can have it positioned in different places. We can go back to the dashboard of the app and we can click here where it says custom position, but the custom position would only give you a few places to put it. For example, just moving the mouse around without having to click. You just look where you want to have it. Just move the mouse where it says select here. It's giving you the option to put it there. We're going to select it down here at the footer, for example, where it says select here, just click and that will be selected basically then you can just click save and the countdown will show down there so i'm going to refresh the page because i added it at the bottom i had it somewhere it takes a few seconds to load but there it is there you have the countdown i hope you found this video helpful and if you did please leave us a super thanks and subscribe to the channel have a wonderful rest of the day my friends and stay safe out there